Hey there, Ride the Car Guy here, and today a quick review of the Pioneer FHS501BT. Today I'm focusing on a budget model. This radio was under $150. I believe I picked it up from Best Buy for about $110 on sale. This radio hits all the basics with a 50 watt out max per channel, Bluetooth wireless streaming and calls, the ability to add on steering wheel controls, and two preamps out of the back. As you can see, it's a very simple design. The screen on this one, they opted to go with a much smaller screen. So the bezel looks a little strange being, uh, being as big as it is with the small screen, but it is symmetrical. It looks pretty good. Um, you know, it's a real simple design. It has a dedicated call, answer, and hang up button. For this to work, you do have to wire the external microphone. There is no microphone integrated into the face of the radio. You also have the ability to put in a USB stick where you can load media onto it and you also have a regular aux in for those of you that still have a headphone jack in your phone. It's pretty quick to power up. I'm gonna turn on the key. Just gives you a little Pioneer splash screen and it's already started. A lot of Pioneers give you the option to change the colors and do different things with it. Unfortunately, this one does not. It will always be blue with a white screen. You have the ability to set six presets in your AM and FM radio. And when you're in other sources, these buttons do multitask. So for instance, this one's your play pause and this will shuffle your music. This radio does still have the CD player, so you don't have to get rid of your collection just yet, but most I'm sure will be playing music to their phone. Pioneer does something really nice in this regard. They have a really quick pair feature that I enjoy. You effectively plug in your USB cable, plug it into your phone, and it'll almost instantly pair it. I'll show you how that's done. All you need to do is plug in your phone, open up the USB port, plug that in, and then you'll see confirmation on your screen for pairing. Hit yes. Go into your Bluetooth settings and you'll see that it's already set and paired. Then you can unplug and now your phone is connected via Bluetooth. You can also connect to apps on your phone such as Pandora and Spotify. This radio comes with a remote, but it will also work with the Pioneer Arc. That's the app that will work on Apple or Android that will allow you to control your radio from your phone. And that's actually my least favorite thing about the radio is that they tried to implement that app. Uh, I think they could have done a better job at doing that, but on the bright side, that really has nothing to do with the radio itself. Uh, I actually quite like the radio. It has a good sound, and uh, it, best of all, it's you know just over 100 bucks. Even though this is a budget model, you do still have the option of changing your equalizer settings. You can make some changes to the subwoofer outputs and different loudness and SLA settings. Moving between sources is fast, and since you have all physical buttons, all of your presses are gonna be accurate, and you can set that beep tone for that audio feedback. The multiple pre-outs in the back will allow you to run multiple amplified signals, one for subwoofers and another for an additional set of speakers. All in all, I think this is a really excellent option for someone who's looking for a minor upgrade from their stock radio. This will not only allow you to add a subwoofer to the system, but it'll also give you that Bluetooth wireless connection, all without breaking the bank. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when more Ride the Car Guy videos get released. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.